children welcome to ca session today we will discuss about wifi so wifi means wireless fidelity it will allow you to connect few devices with internet okay without a direct line from your pc to the isp and this in this pc can be connected but without a direct line from the pc to isp so here students what we need first of all a broadband internet connection should be there i'm talking about the pc laptop in which you can have wifi connections using broadband a wireless router also we need to require it will relay the message between the pc to the isp then a laptop or a desktop with a wireless internet card or external wireless adapter so nowadays these things are not required in laptops and pcs but in old laptops and pcs if wireless internet card or wireless adapter is not there then we can use it the wifi protocol works in the background its frequency range is from 2.4 gigahertz or can be up to 5 gigahertz it will allow local networks in close proximity okay few devices can be connected which are very close to each other then it test the quality of the signal between two devices time to time if the quality of the signal is not there then it will adjust the connection data rate if needed to increase the reliability of the network so students we were studying about various networking components so here now it is cloud computing we have studied about various types of networks but in that there is cloud computing also cloud means virtual storage over the internet so here storing and accessing the data and programs over internet if you are storing the data over the internet or we are accessing data from the internet that means it is cloud computing so students there are two types of clouds public cloud and private cloud you are very much familiar that you know very well you are already using a uh, few cloud computing facilities like we can say google drive it is the best example here everything is maintained by google but what happens anyone can use google drive isn't it anyone can put data over there and can share data publicly or privately or whatever it is or so here the public cloud is the common cloud service made available to all like google has provided a common cloud service to everyone then all hardware software and supporting infrastructure is owned and managed by the cloud provider so in google drive who is the cloud provider google so everything hardware software and supporting infrastructure is owned and managed by google and everything is commonly shared by all cloud tenants so here we are the cloud tenants means the cloud subscribers if we have google account then we will be the google subscribers so we will be able to use google drive so apart from google drive there are many cloud computing facilities like microsoft azure then amazon cloud drive or i cloud etc another type of cloud computing is private cloud so private means it is owned by one business or organization and uh, the example can be any government agency or financial institutions like banks then uh, any company can own their own data and they can share their own data in their own, pre own premises with their own employees so that is private cloud so other those who are outside those premises or not connected with the premises are not authorized to uh access that data they will not be able to use the private cloud now multimedia multimedia means multiple media combinations so it is actually the combination of many types of media in one single application okay one single application means like powerpoint presentation or we are making a video in macromedia flash or uh, any video making software etc so here students it is combination of many types of medias like text images audio video and animations these five components are there in the multimedia and then it there it becomes a multimedia project so students there can be text like if we have to explain the project we used to include text it can be in the heading in the first slide or in the starting or somewhere at the bottom or in between the a presentation then images 
images available are of different different formats okay we can include images graphics graphics means animated images okay so we can include images and graphics to explain the project there are there are many types of extensions like jpg gif then png psd and many types of image extensions are there that we can use now audio audio means sound so we can insert audio also in the multimedia project that means uh, we can include recorded voice sound music then extensions are also there like mp3 wma wave then dl audio midi etc then video we can insert videos also uh, like clips of videos or it can be whole as a video which contains everything text images audios animations etc so video can also be included there are many types of extensions in videos also there can be mp4 then wmv avi and quick time etc animations we can include animations in the multimedia project to make it more interactive if pictures move or graphics move then it looks good okay even uh, if the slide is changing with animation with the transition that also looks good it makes our project interactive now students we will discuss about social networking social networking means to create a social network now how there can be a social network it can be there because of some people used to have their own community now which type of community can be there there can be any small rural community or urban community or religious community or neighborhood subdivision okay there can be any community there can be any type of social community in which people are comfortable they have their own uh, interest in which on which they used to share uh, thoughts and ideas so here people in universities can have a social network then high schools or workplace etc they can share a common interest such as hobbies religion or politics etc so some examples are facebook linkedin twitter instagram myspace youtube blogger type it live general second life dig reddit lulu etc there are so many websites but you might be using or you might have heard about only few like facebook live facebook then twitter then instagram youtube also now has become a social network site okay because we can join there in a group and then many like we can communicate also so now chats chat sites you know very well what are chats in chats we are able to send small messages instantly so here there are various sites and other sites are also like these social networking sites also provides us chat facility so what we have to do they we have to simply register in that particular website we can log in we can chat with other logged in users and we can share the chat publicly or privately also there are many websites on which we can share uh, chats publicly like youtube etc so now students the chapter is over soon i'll be posting question and answers thank you have a nice day